Hey guys, Yarko here. I'm the head trader here at GC Trading Systems. And in this video, I'm just gonna go over a uh, quick tutorial. I'm gonna go through a quick tutorial on the Trade Devil's footprint. Um, so I'm not gonna go over you know, how I trade or anything like that or what my exact setup is, how I set up my footprint chart. Um, I'm just gonna go over a tutorial because I know that there's a lot of stuff in here and uh, it can be confusing at first. Um, so let's get started. All right, so once you load it onto your chart, it should look something like this. So you can see the bid and the ask left and right, uh, the candles in the middle. Um, so first up here, this little blue tab, this is the footprint tab. So instead of going to, uh, instead of right clicking and going to indicators, you can simply uh, just use this tab. So you don't have to go save it and load it up every single time. Um, yeah, so click this little blue tab right here, and then you can see you can turn it on and off just by that. Right here, there's presets. So you can uh, this is the default one. This is uh, the regular bid and ask. You can go in here. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, here's volume cluster. Uh, here's the delta plus volume profile, uh, colored by delta. So as you can see, you know there's tons of different uh, presets in there that you can choose from. Um, let's just stick with uh, this one for now just the, the default. And then, uh, so after that, we keep going down here. There's uh, just some settings for text size, font size, colors, things like that um, for the left cell, right cell, and uh, bar. And right here, here's volume filter, delta filter. Um, those are pretty straightforward. Um, you know, that's a minimum delta filter, delta divider, or sorry, this is the minimum delta filter. This is the volume filter for volume divider, volume display filter. Um, I personally don't use any of those with my trading, but uh, next here's bar statistics. So you can go in here and then you can, uh, let's say, let's let's add one right here. Let's say we wanna plot uh, buy volume. So that's gonna plot the buy volume right there for each candle. Um, that's bar statistics. You can add a bunch of them. So here's, uh, here's another one right here. Let's do Delta change, right? You can see them stacking on top. We can add another one right here. Uh, let's do, you know, let's pick uh, ratio, All right? So you can see those on there and then you can simply just turn those off by unchecking them this way or just by turning this thing off. And then here's bar markers right here. So this is um, for pretty much all the signals. Um, you can go in here, let's put on an exhaustion print. Um, so that will plot bar marker for an exhaustion print. Oh wait, I forgot to show bar markers. So if, even if you check this right here, you still have to show bar markers. So right now it's off. So if we turn that on, you can see, so those are exhaustion prints. Um, those are candles with the exhaustion prints. And then um, let's go back into this. So yeah, so those are the bar markers. You can also go down into here. I'm gonna skip through this real quick, but uh, right here, you can also go into here and then you can look for exhaustion prints. So right here, you can enable this and then that's gonna highlight the, um, that's gonna highlight the exhaustion print on the actual footprint chart. So right there, if we turn it on, you can see them disappear. If we turn it off, you can see them disappear. If we turn it on. They reappear, right? And then you can also change the threshold um, for those in there. You can extend it uh, with this. So let's turn this on. So extend until broken, until tested, right? Um, so let's turn that off for now. And then uh, let's go back up here uh, to where we left off. So um, right here, show last traded tick. Turn that on if you want to. Uh, that'll just show on the current candle. Um, so let me go over here. Last traded tick right there. You can see it's yellow and then shorten big numbers. So if the number's really big, it'll shorten it. Um, then tick aggregation, this is very important. Um, so this will aggregate different levels. So mine is set to four. Um, I, I think defaults one, but you can, it'll pretty much aggregate ticks to one level. So for example, on my chart, you can see one level right here is four ticks. So one point, um, yeah, so you can aggregate those right there. You can change it if you want just by typing it in. And then, yeah, back down to here, here's pretty much all of these signals. So you can add these to the uh, actual candle. So it's great because you can see the actual bar marker uh, with using this. For example, like these uh, these little these little diamonds right here. 
or you can actually show the um, the exhaustion print or wh whatever other signal you're using on there. And then uh, down here, let's see, uh, what what is this? Yeah, so these highlighted green and red boxes, I'm pretty sure that's value area in the preset. Yeah, value area. So this right here, if we just turn that off, right, it really cleans it up, um, unless if you want that on there, of course. So if we go take a look at this, you can see the bar markers and the uh, actual signals on the candle. So bar markers will pretty much show uh, same thing as this right here. So you can turn this on for any for any of them, right? And it'll plot it actually on the candle. Um, yeah, then here's the summary table right here. So let's turn that off. So that's this thing right here. So personally, I just like having just Delta on there, um, but I know a lot of people like max Delta, minimum Delta, things like that. So you can go in here and you can add that other stuff. So let's say for row two, so you can see in my row one, I only have Delta because that's that's all I really look at. But row two, let's say we want to add uh, minimum Delta right there. Let's say you want to add max Delta to row three, you can add it there too. Um, so let's turn that off. And then vertical stripes. So I really like this. Um, this is also another way to show uh, different signals instead of the bar markers and the actual like signal on the candle. You can go into vertical stripe right here. And then um, let's say for stripe number one, let's say we want to show the uh, exhaustion print with this. And again, you know, you can do this with, with any of these. I'm just using exhaustion print as an example. So right there, boom, it's going to plot a vertical stripe. Um, whenever you get a, whenever you get an exhaustion print or whatever signal you're looking at, um, and you, you know, you can add tons of them too. stripe number two, you can add fat prints, you know, anything on here, right? Anything on here. You can even have some custom ones on here too. So right here, see these little custom spots. Um, personally, I've never used those, so I don't know too much about those alerts too. You can add alerts for all these signals. And then show delta bars, that'll show all of that right there. You can uncheck what you want and what you don't want to see. And then um, volume profile, of course, on the left right there, you can turn that off. You can also change the location if you want on the right over there, the left. And then um, bar width. So this will adjust the width of the bar. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's, let's change it real quick. So right there, you can see it got, it got bigger. Put it back to eight. So that's pretty much all for the footprint tab. Um, there's a little bit more. Uh, so if we go to indicators right here. Uh, so if we go to first, if you go to trade devils in that, that's where you put in your email and your contact ID. So that'll give you access to it. Um, but yeah, so general settings right here. That's uh, a lot of the same stuff in the footprint tab. You can see the uh, aggregation for the ticks. So that's the tick aggregation. You can see Delta calculation method. Um, it's all, it's all pretty straightforward. You can change the colors of all that stuff too in there. Um, that's, that's pretty much the biggest thing inside the tab. Um, to my knowledge is the pretty much changing the colors. And another important thing is if you're using any signal or marker or alerts or anything that uses Delta and it does not have its own threshold. So for example, if you go into this tab right here, and uh, for example, Big Delta has a threshold. If you're using some type of signal that doesn't have this and you're trying to find out how to change the, the threshold for it uh, and it, it involves Delta, it's probably gonna be this one right here, this uh, extreme Delta. So try changing that number that'll affect um, your Delta signals. And then, uh, yeah, it's all pretty straightforward other than that, just uh, colors. So if we go down to, uh, you know, we've been using exhaustion print quite a bit. So let's, let's keep sticking with that. Uh, let's go change the colors for the exhaustion print. Uh, where is it? There it is. So right here, you can also change the uh, thresholds for that too in there. Um, and you can extend it and whatever, but you can do all that in the footprint tab. But then right here, let's change the exhaustion print color from light green to uh, lime. And then let's adjust this opacity to uh, 70. The red one right here, change this to a red, make that 72, apply. So then right there, you can see the numbers, the, uh, the little highlighted areas changed. You see it's a deeper red, brighter green, right? So you can do that for any of the signals in there. So let's go back into that. So for any of these right here, you can see 
Um, let's see, you can see uh, fat prints, big delta, zero prints, thin prints, right? All the signals, you can go in there and you can change the colors for all of those. And if you guys don't already have the Trade Devils footprint, it is the best footprint out there. I've researched all of them and it's the best one. Um, so I'll, I'll have the link in the description of this video. Um, if you use code GCTRADING10, this will get you 10% off uh, your order. Just click get footprint right here. You, you can even watch this video right here. This will teach you uh, some basics of the footprint chart and how to find trap traders. Um, but yeah, if you use our code, you will receive a special role in our Discord, and you'll also get a video on how exactly I set up my footprint chart. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, you can go ahead, join our free Discord as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.